I'm Mark Clem for another edition of Meet the Members of the National Ski Patrol. We're back here at Elk Mountain. We're here for the weekend. We're going to interview several ski patrollers from Elk Mountain, along with giving you some nice footage of the patroller school, the patroller training that's going on here today. And I'm here with my good friend, my new good friend, Sarah Keating, and she's going to tell me why you need to become a member of the National Ski Patrol. Sarah, 20, how many years? 23. 23 years. Um, and again, I don't, I've never met a longtime patroller that said every day of the 23 years hadn't been a blast. How about you? It's a blast. I love it. I wouldn't be doing it for 23 years if I didn't love coming to work every day and uh, hanging with my other patrol buddies who are literally some of my bestest friends are, are here. It's about the camaraderie. And yes, we get to ski. We do get to ski and it's about the camaraderie, but it's, we've talked all, all season that um, people have brought up, it's a family affair. Not only do you bring your family up here, the ski patrol becomes your second family. Would that be accurate here at Elk Mountain? Uh, it's definitely accurate. And I, from my own experience, I have two kids that I've had, obviously, after I started with patrol. And it takes a village to raise your kids. And kind of our joke with patrol here is it takes the whole patrol to raise your kids. And my kids can be out in the mountain ski racing. And everybody knows them. They know all the patrollers. They know everybody by first name. Our kids all know each other. Um, so it truly is a family. And we've re the Elk Patrol really looks at it that way. Not only do you have a bunch of friends and relatives that you actually know, you have, what, another few thousand fans that come out here, or skiers that come out here every day that you take a liking to and help out and make sure they have a fun, safe time and they want to come back again and again. How gratifying is it to know that you might not have put a Band-Aid on a buddy, you might not have helped somebody with a, with a more severe injury, but just making that day special for those folks that came out? You know, I always go about it that way when I get on the lift with somebody that I don't know, um, ask them how their day is, where are they from, and having fun today, first time at Elk, um, usually give them a tip about where the good snow might be for that day, um, but that's part of it. You get to meet people, and, you know, I know a lot of locals here because I live here, and I have this big family of people skiing at Elk, but I do enjoy meeting new people every time I'm over here and go for that lift ride or do a little extra. Now, we started out a little foggy this morning, but looks like a bluebird sky. Where do you want me Where do you want me to go skiing this afternoon? What's going to be some of the best runs here this afternoon at Elk Mountain? Ah, it's all going to be good, but I do love the Tunkhannock. Um, it's my favorite bump run. I grew up comp competing in bumps, so I still love going to the Tunkhannock every day. But it should be good this afternoon. It's a little soft, um, some mashed potato bumps over there. But uh, some other good stashes, usually late in the day like this. Um, over in the Lenape will be good. And then over here, what we call the Indians, Tuscarora, Iroquois, Mohawk, um, we'll have some good snow. Now, Sarah. How did you get involved in this this family affair that we call ski patrolling, and what do you do? What were you doing in regular life that drew you to here? Uh, well, when I was in college, I was here skiing on the weekends, and um, I knew a couple of the patrollers. And when I graduated college, I was looking for a job, and uh, I got hired. I actually worked full time here as a patroller. Uh, for my first two years before I got a job in a higher education, and um, I still work in higher education, um, and I'm still patrolling now as a volunteer. Now, how did you blend working in, in the higher education industry to ski patrolling where you're a certified patroller and you're always out there helping somebody, teaching somebody, helping them get to that next level? Is that kind of Was that kind of a natural fit for you? It was a real natural fit. Um, I think that the skills you learn with patrolling, where you learn confidence and your ability to speak with lots of different people, um, has really translated well. I do consulting work with colleges and universities, and I'm often mentoring uh, their admission staffs or their enrollment divisions, uh, younger counselors and things, and it really translates well. I can work with them. I can work with lots of different types of new people. Um, so. It's, it's worked out well for me. Uh, Sarah, I think you might be a bit of a legend around here. We've got a whole fan club out here watching this interview. And um, if, are you like saying, look at me? No, they, <laughs> I usually don't say to look at me. They just like me because I have a lot of fun. This is my, my, the crew out here that I've worked with for years and years. And this weekend's actually, I always look forward to it because a lot of the, the guys and gals that I work with, not only through Pennsylvania, but all through the New England area of examining over the years and training and working with other patrollers and the certified program, I've met, gosh, hundreds of people. And this weekend's always like a reunion because they're all here and there's some of them over there that aren't from Elk but are from all over everywhere else. And then again, this this got to be a ton of fun. 135 or 138 visiting patrollers here, all with the same passion. So it's, it's just got to be fun looking forward to the weekend like this. 
It, you know, it, it really is. And here's a funny story. So last year at the same event, we have um, a number of patrollers that come from West Point. And I had a young lady in my group last year who was living at West Point. Her mother works there. And uh, so she was in my group, and I found out about halfway through the day, her mom I actually had taught about 12 years ago at a different patrol school up at another mountain in New York at Wyndham. Um, so I feel like now I'm working on the second generation of patrollers coming around. Uh, so it's kind of a nice, nice thing to have. Hey, if you folks out there are enjoying what you're seeing and like folks like Sarah Keating here and want to become a member of the National Key Patrol, all you got to do is give them a call here at Elk or your favorite mountain, give the, the patrol a call. If you can't get any headway there, if they're out skiing and having a fun time, which they should be, just log on to www.nsp.org and the folks at the National Office will gladly steer you in the right direction. Sarah, this is, looks like a fun time. I don't want to hold you up any longer. You need to click in your skis and go pound the snow. I do. Great talking to you. All right. All right. Thanks a lot. Again, this is Mark Clem with Meet the Members of the National Ski Patrol, presented by Snow Pro Tees and produced by Matt G. Digital Consulting. Hey, folks, all you folks out there, all you folks here watching Sarah Keating, let's go jump on the wagon. I'm heading north. They say this is like Vermont. We may have to go further north. Stay tuned for your next episode of Meet the Members of the National Ski Patrol. Woo!